Well, good morning, you guys. I have missed you so much. Um, I will explain why I've been MIA uh, a little bit later, but right now I'm going to explain what we're doing here. Uh, this rock's about four and a half by five and a half inches. And so I'm only going to paint the face of the rock. I'm going to leave the rest of it natural. I'm going to do like a black border around it um, just to separate it from the rest of the rock. Um, but right now we're painting on our white canvas because we're going to be using some, we want bright colors. So we're going to brighten up the rock using two coats of acrylic white paint. It's matte. It's actually from the dollar store. <laughs> I'll be honest. I have religiously bought my white and black paint from my Dollarama <laughs> up the road since I started rock painting and I don't think that's ever going to change. It was tough to find paint though uh, during the, uh, you know what, the, the pandemic. Um, I don't like saying that word too loud. <laughs> I'll probably get demonetized or, or whatever because I, I said that word. Um, anyway, two coats, let it dry. I used a sponge, a finger sponge, which I get from Amazon. Um, I usually put a link in the description. Sometimes they're not able to click on that link. I don't know why. might be depending on where you're from, but I get mine from Amazon uh, here in Canada. So first I used a nice dark cerulean blue. Then I used a little bit of teal. And now I'm using Calypso Sky, I believe. Came in blue. Whoa, I'm throwing things around. Hello. Uh, yeah, so came in blue. I'm gonna lighten it up with a little bit of white in the center as well. I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter color um, just to brighten it up in the center a bit um, and once again it's easier to use sponges to get this nice soft um, like it just looks soft to me nice soft ombre <laughs> from dark blue to light blue um, I've let it dry I am using a compass you can use a lid or something else that's circular for your sunshine um, depending on how big your rock is and how um, big you want your sun to be, it depends. You decide. You get to decide all of this stuff. I'm just kind of giving you ideas. Um, and because I want my sun to be bright colors, I'm also going to paint that white and use a sponge, sponge it out, and um, make sure I have two coats of white over top of that blue because I don't want the blue to show through on my sun. I want it to be bright and bold. So we're kind of prepping canvases as we go along here, little bits of the canvas we have to keep priming with white. Um, so there is some drying times and stuff like that. You have to be patient because I am not patient when it comes to my paint drying. It depends. If I'm blending, I don't want it to dry too fast. But if I'm waiting to do something else, I want it to dry fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. Um, so two coats of white. I used a sponge. You can use whatever circular. If you don't have a compass, just use whatever you have at home that's circular and do the best you can. It, my, my son goes around the corner of the rock, so it looks kind of weird. Um, but you work with what you got. Now I am going to start, start with a very bright apple red um, all of my stuff is pretty much folk art or Martha Stewart. I don't even know if Martha Stewart still sells paint because my paints are so old. You can even see like little cracks in the, in the labels. <laughs> um, I use my paint until it's gone. I'm very frugal that way. Um, so I'm starting off with apple red. I'm going to put some, I'm using sponges again, smaller sponges. Um, you can get like a pencil and glue a sponge to the tip of the eraser um, like little pieces of sponge if you can like somehow get a very small round sponge cut out with scissors and then glue it crazy glue it to the end of a pencil um, it works great 
Uh, I can't live without my sponges when I when I need something blended properly. I I can't live without my sponges. I don't do makeup. I'm not good with makeup. I can blend all day on rocks though. <laughs> I can do whatever you want with a with a, a sponge on a rock. Um, but yeah, I, sponges are a must have. So I've actually like kept all of my old sponge sticks from Martha Stewart because I don't even know if she sells those anymore. I can't find them. Um, and they were expensive anyway, but I kept all the little plastic sticks and I cut up sponge and stick to them <laughs> with glue. Um, but if you don't have any of those Martha Stewart plastic sticks, use pencil or pen, something, something else, whatever you want, just use what you got, work with it. But I honestly love sponges. So I'm blending in some pumpkin orange, pure pumpkin um, I find the brand from the dollar store is the least translucent and I don't need as many coats in order to get orange to look orange. <laughs> and, uh, so a little bit of moon yellow in the center and I'm just blending it around. Do it while it's wet and don't use the same sponge on all the colors. You want to change, you want to sponge for red, sponge for orange, sponge for yellow, and in the end, I go through a whole lot of sponges when I'm doing a project like this. Um, it's been a while, actually, since I've done just paint on a rock. I'm not doing any fancy glitters. I'm going to use paint for my glitter, um, which is coming up very soon. <laughs> right now, actually, I'm going to use Folk Art Hologram 2796. I've used this since the beginning. It's one of my favorites, especially for a sky background. It's so beautiful. I like to sponge it on because then it's even and I don't have any like missing areas that have no glitter. Um, so I sponge it on, let it dry. It dries really, really quick. You can't really see the sparkle until later. You'll see it, I promise. Um, so I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to sketch on a quick cactus and luckily my hologram 2796 erases easily and no paint is removed <laughs> um, so we're painting on top of glitter paint now now for the cactus just choose like three different shades of green your darkest green a bright green and then a light green so like lime green um, so i'm using Thicket or Classic. Thicket is this dark, dark, dark green. Um, then I'm going to use Bright Green. It's literally called Bright Green. And then Lime, Lime Green. And they're all folk art. Um, all the paint colors will be listed in the description of the video. There's going to be some blending going on. Again, I apologize for any of you who do not like the blending process. Um... It takes work and time and patience and you got to do it quick because acrylic paint dries so quickly and it doesn't budge once it's dried or it peels off or flakes off. Um, so you have to be, you know, treat it with uh, fragility. <laughs> it's fragile. Um, so I'm using a sponge and I'm blending out the one side which is kind of going to be shaded by the sun, right? Because it's on the back side of our cactus. Um, the sun's going to kind of shine some light towards the cactus. Uh, we're not going to be worried about the scientific part of it um, because we're artists. <laughs> we just do what we love. So even though I know the cactus is in front of the sun, we're going to act like it's on the side, okay? <laughs> ignore, ignore the science. So I have blended it out as best as I can. One of the little arms on the cactus is sticking out the front and one of them is sticking out the side. But once again, don't worry about the, the science of it all. Rachel, that's impossible. In real life, that would not be. Oh, well, this ain't real life. This is Rachel's rocks. <laughs> so the bright green comes after the dark green. 
then the lime green. So we're going to lighten up the arms that are facing the sun, because <laughs> they are, because I said so. We're going to just lighten those areas up, and you just go along with it, because this is fun. <laughs> But I want to keep my dark green outline. I'm going to be going back over it again because I've sponged over some of it. Um, I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to wreck any of my sky. And this doesn't wipe off. We're not going to be able to just wipe this off. Um, so we got to work with it as much as possible. If your paint starts drying and you see patches, start over. Get some dark there. Get some bright there. Then start the lime green again. Just work it in. You got to be patient with yourself but quick with the paint. You know what I mean? So I'm outlining it again with the dark thicket green because I still want to see that outline. I'm going to be adding some dots soon. Um, so grab skinny little paint brushes. If you don't have dotting tools, you can use toothpicks. You can use skinny little paintbrush ends. You can use pencils. Uh, probably not a good idea to use... Um, pencils. Don't use pencils unless it's a white pencil that isn't going to <laughs> run into your paint at all. Um, you don't want it to change the color of anything. But be creative. Knitting needles, crochet needles, they can all be used as, as dotting tools. Um, first, I'm using the dark green and I'm just kind of putting a thin line. A couple, there's three on the arm the first arm and then I'm just kind of spreading them apart a bit more on the bigger portion of the cactus and then I'm going to do three light lines just don't be worried if they're not perfect I don't I did you see how I did that I just kind of skimmed them down there and I didn't get nervous about it don't get nervous about it what's the worst that can happen you have to redo your sponging again you're blending. <laughs> no big deal. Um, so I am putting some dots. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. They're a little bit bigger on the bigger portion of the cactus once again. And then I make them a little smaller for the arms. They're not perfect. They're not evenly spread apart. I'm just doing whatever. And now I'm using my fine lining brush to put some little cactus prickles. I just kind of do like a little V. I don't care if they're not even. I don't care if one of the strands of whatever they're called, prickles, <laughs> if one's a little bit longer than the other, I don't care. Just do whatever you want. Um, just make sure your paint isn't too thick. You can add a little bit of water to black paint uh, acrylic paint and so that it you can make like these little fine little cactus hairs or, or prickles um, it's a lot easier if you don't have thick globby paint when you're doing fine little things like this um, but basically I just want there to be uh, on the outer edge I'm not doing any prickles on the front of it um, just just around the outer edge I think that looks like a cactus to me a little bit <laughs> so I wasn't gonna do like sand like it's in the Arizona um, desert or anything I didn't really want to do sand I just kind of want to leave this cactus floating on a flower <laughs> flower is inspired by tattoos um, more vintage tattoos um, I'm getting rid of some of the dots because those are raised little bumps. Um, so I scratched them off with my fingernail <laughs> where it's going to be under the flower petal. I don't want there to be bumps on my flower petals. So I just scraped the little dots off. That's all I did. If you saw me doing that, if there was an itchy spot on the cactus, I had to help him, help him out. <laughs> so now I have painted on my flower. It's just very, very simple. There's six petals. I started with one at top, one at the bottom, and then I put two on either side. And I'm gonna be redoing my black outline a few times. 
Uh, we're going to clean it all up in the end and, and finish it off in the end. But you'll see me kind of like outline, fix things over and over because I'm going to be sponging in this little area with different colors. I'm going to be using magenta as well as I believe we're going to do a coral today. Um, and then I'm going to be adding to this flower um, some little pointy things that are going to be purple and white. And it's just kind of adding onto the flower. And then I'm going to do some weird leaves that are half green, half teal. Um, you do what you want. Once again, I'm just kind of like getting my ideas and inspiration from different tattoos that I've seen on um, Pinterest or, or Google. I love looking at tattoos. They give me a lot of inspiration and and I would love to fill my entire body except for my face. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I could put a tattoo on my face, but maybe like behind my ear. I don't know. Who knows with my old age? Who knows what I'll decide to do? Because... <laughs> Your body's your canvas, right? I have a couple of tattoos. Um, one of them I created myself and got a fabulous tattoo artist here in my city uh, to do for me. And she did a great job. Um, yeah, maybe I'll create my next one. Who knows? Who knows? So I did some pointy little weird diamond things between the petals which I'm going to paint white um, because we're going to prime it and get it ready to be its own little canvas as well. Just like I'm doing with the leaves, I'm going to be doing another leaf on the other side of the flower. It's just going to be one on the other side. Um, but yeah, you know, you know. So I have been having some health issues. Uh, which is why I've been kind of missing. <laughs> um, I thought that once court was done that stress would leave, but that, of course, has not happened. Um, so I am trying really hard to keep up and keep my business going, um, and that's why I've been missing. Um, when you have health issues, it... Uh, you have no choice but to sit down and think about whether or not you've been looking after yourself. <laughs> I'm going to be using some fire coral as well as magenta for the flowers. Um, you'll see I'm going to start off with the lighter color and then I'm going to blend in some magenta closer to the center of the flower. So you'll see that. I'll do it slowly at first and then I'll speed it up because it's the same process with each petal. Um, Anyway, I just want to give a little tip out to you that might not have anything to do with painting at all. <laughs> um, take care of you because I have spent years taking care of everybody else. Um, I've been a mom for a very long time and unfortunately, some of it has been a single mom and you really forget while you're trying to keep the kids alive, the animals alive, the plants alive, um, you know, the bills paid. Uh, like, I want you guys to be happy. Um, so there's like pressure coming from everywhere. And I automatically want to help everybody else first. And I know that a lot of us are like that. Um, all I can say is I have ignored my health issues for far too long because of what was going on in my life. And you shouldn't do that. Um, so, yeah, I am being forced. The universe is like, oh, Rachel, hello. Do you know that you need to actually be here if you want to continue to look after other people and your plants? and your rocks. Um, I'm being forced to now take a look at myself and I should have a long time ago. 
Um, so yeah, I'm having some tests being done and some issues and stuff that's kind of keeping me from being at 100%, but I am working on it and I am taking care of it and I'm making sure to take time out every day for myself and make sure that I have what I need because that's extremely important. You guys have all heard it. You know, you can't pour from an empty cup, that cliche thing to say, but man, it is true. Um, quick subject change. I've put some lavender <laughs> in the white diamond areas. Don't worry about if you mess up and you get a little bit of purple in the, in the coral, we can fix it later. Let it dry. Don't try and fix it while it's wet. Um, and we're going to outline everything again with black. Once it's all done, it's not going to look so fuzzy. It'll be cleaned up. Um, so don't worry about that. I'm just sponging on using a blending brush that I have a tutorial for as well as my fine lining brush. They're both located in the description of this video. Or you can just search Rachel's Rocks blending brush or Rachel's Rocks fine lining brush or Rachel's Rocks resin tutorial or Rachel's Rocks sings. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what happens if you do that. Let me know. Um, I'm outlining everything again. So anyway, it is true. You cannot take care of anybody else, including a plant, um, if you don't take care of yourself because in the end it's, it's not good. Um, so when you least expect it, your, your body's like, uh-uh, nope. <laughs> We're going to just throw this into the, into the mix for you. <laughs> um, so I am being forced to look into these issues further and see what happens. See that crackled? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the the label on that paint? It was like crackle effect. It was so old, it's cracked everywhere. That's so strange. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I use my paint till it's gone. Um, it's almost gone. That one's almost gone. So I have done each diamond the same purple closer to the bottom and then I lighten it up with some white and I'm doing now using classic green and teal for the leaves and then I'm splitting them down the center with black lines I'm outlining everything I'm also going to put a black line down the center of the petals uh, partway halfway um, but first I'm going to add some moon yellow dots to our flower. I'm just going to keep adding dots until it's all filled up all the way around. You might not like these ideas or colors. You can change them as much as you want. Uh, take a look at vintage tattoos for vintage flower tattoos as well for some ideas for some pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm like I said, just putting like a fine crease I guess in those flowers <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing you some stuff at my desk um, I'm going to outline this with black of course there's a ni nice thick black line that's separating the canvas from the rock and then uh, we're going to move on to some shiny stuff at my desk but like I said you do need to take care of yourself before you can be who you need to be for other people and other things and other things that come up in your life. Um, and if you want to grow old, uh, you just because you feel good now and you, you don't think you really need to do anything about it right now, it's going to come up and, and kick you in the butt in the long run. So I don't recommend putting anything off when it comes to your health. Um, so this is ready to be resined. I'm going to show you some stuff at my desk and then show you this all shiny. Well, so far, 
two little mushroom phone grips. One's on a white one, one's on black. They're both very similar and very cute. Then there's this one, uh, which looks way more beautiful outside uh, under the sun with all those bright colors. This one, another dotted flower with chrome leaves. You guys know how much I love these. Um, I guess I was on a bit of a mushroom kick because <laughs> I have mushroom phone grips and big mushroom rocks with a moon and here's another one. <laughs> but here's the beauty we made together today. You can now see that gorgeous sparkling background. Uh, the bright colors just stand out so nicely. Um, this looks really nice on my desk, but I'll be putting it into my Etsy shop later on, probably today. Um, and I have another tutorial coming up for us um, either tomorrow or Tuesday. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Make sure you hit the like button and share where you can share because that helps me out, believe it or not. I will see you very soon. Do me a favor. Keep painting. Bye.